This is our faithful Hoover wind tunnel. Served us many years. It was the number one rated vacuum by quote unquote a consumer magazine. I'm sure you can figure out which one. <laughs> uh, you know, great cleaning power, super convenient. I mean, I love the fact that you just did that. And you went to tools, did that, and went right back to floor. You didn't have to do anything. We've got a Kirby too, and it's a pain to switch between them. But you see the cord holder thingy broke off of there, and I have reattached it many times, as I'm sure you can see there. Uh, plastic weld, everything. And the problem is, don't know if it's the wife or the son that puts the cord on and they pull hard down and out and they break it back off so anyway got our 18 year wedding anniversary coming up and I thought I'd call my good buddy General Motor and ask him what wives like for their anniversaries and what he told me on the phone was Gary Get her a vacuum cleaner. Women love vacuum cleaners. So I thought, hey, that's a great idea. I'm gonna buy her a vacuum cleaner. So as I often do, I got on Amazon, searched and searched and searched, looked for what was hopefully the best bang for the buck. And this is what we got. So we'll unbox it. Put it together and see what how it compares. I'm expecting this one is probably a little bit better as far as cleaning and so forth because it has the bag which also doubles as a filter plus this has a HEPA filter on it. But this one had good ratings and what really caught my eye was that cord rewind so no more breaking that piece off. My first concern is it was not sealed. I don't know if it was a return or if they just don't seal them. It looks like everything's in here. There is attachments plus the little pet one, which the old Hoover had one of these and honestly I don't know that we ever used it that much. I don't know what the hell this thing is. This was one thing that caught my eye with uh, this compared to some of the other vacuums was that you could extend this out, I think, 15 or 16 feet to clean up above the ceiling, ceiling fans, whatever. So we'll see if that actually works as well in practice as it should in theory. I know a lot of times these things are more gimmicky than, than actually effective. Usually for ceiling fans I end up having to climb on a ladder and get a wet sponge and just wipe them down. So first thing I will say, which is nice, is this is lightweight. Now, that could be a double-edged sword because lightweight could mean weak. <laughs> on the braking, but it's very easy to pick up and move around. Assembly is basically just push that in there, and then when you want to remove it, you just press that and lift out to do whatever you're going to do with it. These are supposed to have spots. For now I have them like that. I'm sure you can put them however you want. So there's a little ledge here and there that fits into and snaps in so now it's secure. Alright this part is not clear in the owner's manual but I figured it out. So that stays they want this to go under here and walk into there. That loop over there and then that clip onto there. So it's routed as such. So after you're done vacuuming, push 
that, that comes off, and then you have this release on the bottom, do that over the trash can, whatever you vacuumed up will come out. And if you need to get into here to do the filter, looks like that just lifts it up. Resistance on it, it's because this is turned. So you want to get that groove you've wound up there. And it just closes nice and easy. And then you have a switch here for bare floors, low carpet, all the way up to high carpet. If you are wanting to use the hose separately, So just use the hose or any of the attachments on it, but it's also meant to click into here, twist the lock, and then you can put your attachments on there so you have a little more range with it basically. And you have the convenience of having the handle to guide it. And done. Twist, release. Hang this back up. Back to floor tools. The cord, when you're done, you have this foot button right there. And it rewinds the cord for you. So when you're ready to use it, you put your foot on the front and pull back. It sounds like it's breaking, but that's what it says to do. And then your power button, there's the red one down there, just click it with your foot. Just in that small little test that I just did, I would say it seems like the cleaning power is comparable to that. And the huge advantage of bagless is we've all done it where you've vacuumed up something and you weren't sure if it was important or not. And with the bag, you're stuck basically cutting that open and digging through there. Whereas with this, you can stop immediately, dump out just whatever's in the canister and find it so and then obviously I left that dirty just to show I was just using it a little bit but obviously you can wash that out periodically even every time same thing with this you can wash that off as much as you want to so we'll see I'll let you know I'll let y'all know if she murders me for this being her gift I tell her I got it used I don't know whose dust that is, but that's part of the present.